this one are from the team assalam alaikum in this video we are going to uh, create a select car system and uh, definitely in next video we'll create shop system so uh, for selecting cars uh, before that i will just create a folder here uh, with the name of audios audios and i will just bring an audio for the background so i have downloaded that audio from uh, youtube and uh, you can convert it with some converter and then we can just uh, rename it and i will just okay that's name is fine so now we can just drag drop it inside audios and here i will add a game object where we can add audio and uh, we can also add audio and audio source and then we can rename this to background ground odd sound maybe and then we can drag drop this audio here we need play on a active and also loop will be active so now if we play the game you will listen a sound of background and this is no copyright sound so you can see some office type environment sound and uh, definitely you, you can use some other sounds as well so uh, uh, that's nice and now definitely you can on bus uh, selection menu you can change the sound as well but i will keep the background sound same for the both uh, uh, actions so now we will start creating our scripts and the first uh, script uh, will be uh, the shop manager so let's add name shop manager of this script and uh, we will open this script this will script will be very uh, simple initially okay so now the script is open so we can just create our first uh, variable which will be public int current public int and we can name it current bus index so we can assign a zero initially index so then we will also add public game object and we want to add array of buses and here we will say bus models like this in start function we can just uh, create a loop for each loop so we will say for each and in for each we will say that game objects bus and uh, uh, we will say bus in bus models where is bus models bus models like this and then we will say that car dot set active sorry bus dot set active false so initially we are making every bus as a false so uh, we don't want to display any bus okay so now for uh, the first index we will say car models sorry again bus models then we will get car uh, bus index current bus index dot set active and then we will get well we will make it true okay so this is the basic script 
so now what will happen that uh, if we go to our unity and uh, here on main menu you can see that we have our bus selection menu which is uh, here actually so I will just select the bus selection menu and we will hide main menu for time and in bus selection menu if we focus on this you can see that uh, we have these arrows and the buses so if we will add this script shop menu script on bus selection game object okay right away so now if we uh, extend the script you will see that we have current bus index and also we have bus model bus models so here we will add three so because we have three models and we will place our models in a proper manner and uh, we will choose the same uh, technique actually we have four models we will choose the same technique in other uh, uh, levels as well so the first bus will be purple then the second bus will be blue and uh, third bus will be green and fourth bus will be yellow also we will select all of the buses and I will make these buses active so that you can see that our script is working absolutely fine so now if we play game we will see that only the first bus purple will be active and uh, the other buses will not be active so yeah actually we have to enable the main menu because uh, there is button on main menu which will allow the second camera to be visible otherwise we can do se second camera as well so uh, yeah both uh, are active so that was the problem i will just again bus selection make it inactive so let's play now hopefully everything will be fine and when we will click on play you will see the what is the problem non convex mesh collider rigid body support is in okay that's no problem we will solve this later on i will show you that what is the problem so here if you click you can see the bus is just not here why uh, okay so what is the problem so if we hide all these buses if we okay there is some problem with some another bus okay here so that's why we are facing issue and uh, with the purple bus I think we have some issue so you can see wheel 3 select it mesh collider is there make it convex so maybe this problem also for the driver mesh collider will add convex and now we will check it again play and bus is not here so why bus is not here i don't know so we are uh, i'm selecting the bus holder and you can see that yeah we make a mistake very big mistake and that was we will not add shop manager on this thing uh, the bus selection actually we have to add it on bus holder okay sorry for that so here we will add shop manager and here we will add four and now everything will be fine i hope so so bus purple bus blue bus green and bus yellow so now if you play hopefully everything will be fine So now you can see our first bus which is purple bus that is enabled. So now uh, if for example you, I will just minimize the game view. If for example in current bus uh, index if you place 2 maybe then if you play the game you will see that the second bus will be enabled 
which we don't want actually and we want dynamic uh, load okay you can see now green bus is active so we don't need this thing so if even we have two here we don't need the uh, second bus should be loaded so for that purpose we will use player prefabs for player prefabs we will make this index uh, not zero and uh, then in start we will add current car index current bus index is equal to and we will say player prefab sorry again player prefs and uh, we will say dot get in we are getting the integer from player prefabs and we will say selected bus like this okay and then we will add zero the zero index and then our other things will be same and one more thing we will add is that uh, yeah actually uh, now we uh, want to add some uh, buttons uh, script okay button functions so now first we will test this out and then I will show you uh, that how we will add some uh, button functionality so let's see now you can see car index is 2 but we will have a purple bus unfortunately that is not the case so why this is not happening so actually the problem is that we are not creating this selected bus we are not setting integer and we are just creating the integer so we will say that uh, player prefabs dot set int and then we will again assign selected bus zero like this okay so now hopefully we will not get any problem let's see it again and now you can see that it's purple bus even we have added two here in index so that's nice we have successfully uh, did the main functionality now we for the buttons we will add some more functions to our script so first function uh, will be the uh, check uh, the next button so for the next button we will create a function public void and we will say change next maybe so it's up to you whatever name you can assign for your uh, buttons it's not necessary and then we will say bus models sorry and uh, for bus models we are uh, we want to get the current bus index and then we will make it set active dot false sorry files like this and what we are we, we are doing that we are getting the index which bus was active and then we are making it inactive okay and then we will uh, we want to um, initiate the next bus okay so we will say current bus index plus plus okay because we need to an active next bus and similarly we will um, create a if function and we will say current bus index and we will say that is equal to bus models dot length okay so it will check the uh, bus buses length so how much buses are and it will hold the length there and uh, it will not exceed the uh, 
that number so bus models and we we are going to add current bus index dot set active and we are making it true and then lastly we will say player preps dot set intic uh, set int and we will say okay we will uh, add selected bus key here okay and we'll say selected bus and we will say uh, that that is current bus index yeah that's nice so this is our change next function so now we will create another function for previous bus load okay so we will come here we will paste the function and here i will just say change previous like this and in previous uh, function uh, what we will do the same thing we will inactive the current model then we will say current bus index minus minus rather than plus plus and here we will say that if current ca a bus index is equal to minus one minus one okay so then what we want to do so we will say car bus models mm -hmm. is the same thing and for this the same thing okay so the same function is there so now we will apply this function on our uh, next buttons so we will go to scenes and actually we are disabling and enabling the uh, things again and again so I will just uh, active the bus selection camera and I will inactive the main camera for time okay main menu camera and I will activate the bus selection menu and I will deactivate the main menu because we are focused on this so this is the next button so we will select this button and we will add a function on click function and then we will drag drop the uh, bus holder game object here because it contains a function so we will go to shop manager and we will select change next function we will select the previous button on click function we will add the bus holder button here and we will select shop manager and ch change previous save it and now let's try it so hopefully everything will work absolutely fine so now so you can see second bus third bus fourth bus and if we click again you can see first bus again second bus and if we click it you can see the last bus and from purple you can see that we can't move to back so here you can go back you can go next and that's it so we have successfully added the change bus functionality so the next step is to do something with this buy button